Good morning, it's egg time, it's breakfast time, it's Bentley time. Yeah! Okay, I got some more rock tape on here. Hopefully that'll help me so I can go ham at the gym today. See you there. <laughs> Is it potty time? Potty time! Happy, happy walking. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> go on, go. Go potty. Behind the movie theaters. Yeah, go potty. Guess he got his potty break. We're headed off to the pool. It's kind of already getting dark though. It was like such a nice sunny day outside. There is no sun outside. What's going on? Look at Aaron with his, with his shoulder. This pool was freezing cold. We ended up just being in the hot tub the whole time. Next time. <laughs> Next time. Actually, I haven't made dinner in a really long time, so I thought that I would go and do that. I gotta go and buy some food, so I'm gonna go to the Asian market right now. Let's go. At the Asian market. Time to get some food. I got some Napa cabbage, some ginger, and I grabbed some ramen. I'm buying some thinly sliced beef here. Sukiyaki brand, if you can see that. Gotta get the ponzu sauce here. So good. If you're wondering, ponzu sauce is kind of like soy sauce, but with like a lime flavor to it. You can usually find it in like the soy sauce area next to the Asian seasonings. Look, it's Mario 3D Land candy here. I used to love this candy when I was younger. The sour, the more sour the better, like warheads. Doesn't this look so good, the gummy candy? Looks like I got enough here. Yay, I got some nice compliments on my arms. <laughs> After I work out, my arms like swell up with blood, so it always looks good. Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna film my cooking video of how I make my dinner right now. I'll put little snippets of it here. If you wanna catch the full video, check out my second channel, Life After College Vids. I'll post the whole video there. You can check it out, share it with your friends, and you can, guys can make the food too. Yeah! We're gonna make some thinly sliced beef, some stir-fried Napa cabbage, and some rice. Let's check out what we need for the recipe. Got over here our thinly sliced beef, sukiyaki style. We got our Napa cabbage here, ginger, ponzu sauce, and we got our rice. I have a rice cooker, so I'm just gonna stick it in there. So this rice cooker lets me to do up to three cups of white rice. So I'm gonna make the maximum amount. With all the rice I don't eat, I can save it for later, put in the refrigerator, and heat it up later so I don't have to cook rice every single day. Okay, I just washed the rice. I just want to fill up the water. So this is white rice, three cups. Stick this inside the rice cooker here. And turn it on. Here it goes. The brand of rice cooker I have is Zoji Rushi is the Japanese brand. While we wait for our rice to cook, let's start off with our Napa cabbage here. We're gonna stir fry the Napa cabbage with some ginger. It's gonna taste awesome. First, let's wash the Napa cabbage, one piece at a time here, like so. Okay, now that we have our cabbage over here all washed, we're just gonna take a knife and chop it up. What we're gonna do is chop off the ends. I like to chop it in diagonals. Awesome, I got that all chopped up. Next, I'm gonna do the ginger. There we go. Turn this onto medium. Get a pretty large frying pan over here. Get some olive oil, put some olive oil inside. And once this gets hot enough, you can add your greens. There we go. And just get some of my tongs here. Just mix it around a little bit. Try to get these whiter stem pieces on the bottom. These cooking sounds are so awesome. I love the sound of cooking. Okay, so once you get the greens a little bit more than halfway done, like right now, it's time to add the ginger. Put it on top. I just make it super simple with like just ginger as a seasoning. Ginger, olive oil, salt and pepper. Add the salt and pepper last. Okay, so once the Napa cabbage ends up looking like this, it's pretty much done. Add some salt and some pepper. And we're done with the Napa cabbage. Now we're gonna start on the thinly sliced beef. 
since it's super thinly sliced, it's going to be really easy and cook in like less than a minute. So be awesome, super easy to make. So the most delicious way to do this is to heat it to medium and actually instead of using olive oil, use butter. Put a thin layer of butter on it and it'll add a lot of flavor to the, to the beef here. So here's the butter, maybe a little bit more than that. And let the butter melt and cover the entire pan. Okay, so here's the beef over here, super thinly sliced. Lay it on top of the frying pan like this. Lay it down, lay it down. When it looks like this, time to flip it over. Flip. It's cooking faster than I can add it to the, the frying pan here. <laughs> okay, this looks pretty good. Now let's check out the rice. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Look at that. And there we go, yeah, pretty awesome. Napa cabbage stir fried with ginger. Here's our beef and here's our rice. The final ingredients, the secret ingredients, is using ponzu sauce. If you don't have ponzu sauce or if you can't find it anywhere, another thing that will make it taste very similar is if you just squeeze a little bit of lime and drizzle a little bit of soy sauce over it, and it'll make it taste so good. Drizzle a little bit of this sauce, magic. And there we go, ta-da! Today's Netflix movie is Garden State. I hadn't seen it before, isn't that really sad? Hey yo, just finished watching Garden State with Zach Braff and Natalie Portman. So old, cult classic movie that I had not seen before. I just found it really depressing and bizarre. There were a lot of very specific details that were included in the movie, so I was just kind of like, I'm pretty sure Zach Braff put a lot of um, autobiographical stuff inside of it. It just felt like very random to me. I know a lot of people will connect with the movie, but personally, I didn't really too much. It was still entertaining. Um, my final review out of four stars for Garden State would be two and a half. Sorry. Some kids were selling lemonade for two bucks a pop, so I went and taught them about honest and responsible capitalism. <laughs> lemonade, 175. What? Stand near a spot of water. Easiest illusion ever. <laughs> a Slovak man trapped in his car under an avalanche freed himself by drinking 60 bottles of beer and urinating on the snow to melt it. That's my boy. What? Vadering? I didn't even know this was a thing. Wait, I need to do this. I need to get on this. It's so cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wait, no. I need to do this. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm getting ready to go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. I challenge you to a Pokemon battle. I choose you, Bentley.